Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome back to episode number 23 of my AFC Wimbledon career mode. Welcome back. Just switching up my back line ever so slightly now. We only have one uh, actual positional player in the correct position at the back at the moment, and that is uh, uh, Walker Peters from Tottenham on loan. Uh, we haven't got a left back, as you know. We've just been kind of putting defenders in anywhere. But our first game today against Watford in the Carabao Cup. They're ahead 2-0 on aggregate. What can we do here? It's a tough game in the snow. Look at this. Thomas coming from deep, hands it off to Casey Ado, whips it into the box to Tammy Abraham, who produces a fine save there from the keeper, Appiah, and he finds the net, there we go, 1-0 on the night, 2-1 on aggregate, and there is a very small chance, folks, that we might be able to get back into this game now, we have led a very charmed life in a lot of cup competitions so far, and this could be no different, we could be making a comeback here, but, uh, yeah, what a first half that was. All to play for in the next 45. We don't want to be going home just yet. So Declan Rice plays the ball to McDonald. McDonald looks up, plays it onto Jesus. Jesus finds the wing out to Walker Peters. Peters, and it's a deflection off the defender, and that will go out for a corner. So not too bad there. Let's see what we can make of it. Can we get a huge goal here? The corner whipped in into the box. And it is a lovely goal. A beautiful header on 51 minutes. 2-2 on the aggregate. 2-0 on the night. And this could be absolutely enormous. We need to get another goal to secure it. Otherwise, Watford do go through on the away goals. But that was some header. The neck muscles to get behind that. Deceiving the defender and the keeper as well. So Chalaba now for Watford. He's got a lot of players around him. They really are playing some tight football at the moment. And uh, uh, Olishan, uh, sorry, um, uh, Deji tries to get in there. But it's a lovely ball put all the way through to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he absolutely skies it. Usually he is absolutely devouring efforts like that. No problem usually. But look at that. High, wide, and not very beautiful whatsoever. God damn it. So, Campos now all the way through. And there it is. Hughes gets a goal. 2-1 on the night. 3-2 on uh, aggregate now. And that could very well be the goal. Nearly 80 minutes gone in the match. And Wimbledon, I, I think by this point, all the players I'd run absolutely ragged. I had no hope of getting anything from this. It would take one hell of a spirited performance to drag us back into this and uh, there we go we go out of the Carabao Cup the uh, competition we won comfortably last year we could not pull it off this year god damn it very disappointed indeed but still a good cup run we made the semi-finals so it's going to be Watford versus Manchester United in the finals uh, a good 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 game that would be but I think United are favorites to win that all day long so FA Cup up next away against Arsenal at the Emirates so a huge game for us here and the potential to get a lot more money in as well we got about 150 for the Carabao Cup loss FA Cup I think we can uh, I think we can actually double that sometimes depending on the stage that we're actually at so so, uh, Abraham, very impressive in the last game. He will be staying on this game. So, here we go. A big opportunity for us to provide another slip up here. We're in our yellow kits, our famous banana kit now. We are the banana skins of the championship. People will slip up with us. That's what we're hoping. And look at that. It's a lovely header. And Crocombe cannot keep it out. It trickles over the line. Awful defending there. And uh, I will say there were a few stars amongst the Arsenal team. But a lot of them were unknowns. Unknowns and new signings. They weren't taking us very seriously whatsoever. And uh, after defending this, I mean, you can probably see why they weren't taking us very seriously. It just kind of creeps over the line there. Apadu there doesn't help things either. So, on uh, 12 minutes now, Routy. He plays the ball inside now. It's a lovely touch. Key gets it back, lets it fly, comes off the woodwork, and Wordsworth puts it away. It's a goal. Yeah, it is a goal. I thought for a second he was pausing there because it was offside and he was being flagged. But no, it is all tied up. The sea of blue and yellow down the other end of the stadium are absolutely loving it. And on almost quarter of an hour gone, we've seen two goals here and a very, very lucky bounce. Usually I don't get the lucky bounce. Usually the lucky bounce falls to my opponents. But Key now 
stretching the legs and oh my god it was a very good attempt to whip the ball across there but uh, just could not find a man so Arsenal grabbing the ball by the horns here they've got their backs up they're gonna let it fly with Lacazette but unfortunately for them my boy Grogan in goal there equal to it look at this Lacazette such a good player really got behind that Big left paw there from Crokham puts it over. Lovely stuff. That's exactly what we need to see more of. So, half time. It will go down as a Crokham own goal for Arsenal, but Wordsworth there getting everything back on track on 15 minutes. So, second half now. McTarian through to Howison. It's turned back to us. Wagstaff now. Look up. Make a run, someone. Make a run. Make a run. We see a run being made by Rowdy on the far side. He whips it in. No one there except an AFC Wimbledon player. The first shot. I mean, it was going to go in eventually. It was a, took a huge rebound that was looping in. But Billy Key follows up that and now he's been an absolute bell end and celebrating in front of the Arsenal fans. I tell you what. The banana skin theory is real, folks. It really is. We've been playing so good. Like when we had the green stripe kit in real life. I love that kit. We did so well. What a playoff run that was wearing that kit as well. Beautiful stuff. So we are ahead to 157 minutes. Arsenal now really going in with some strong crunching tackles. But uh, we are getting to the second ball first. Wagstaff looks up. Plays it all the way across. Some lovely one-touch football now. Tammy Abraham whips it back in. And look at that. It was a cheeky headed chance there but it somehow finds the back of the net and the reserve keeper for Arsenal is absolutely hemorrhaging goals now at this stage unbelievable stuff and it's Billy Key once again and Arsenal are being chucked out of the FA Cup by little old AFC Wimbledon here unbelievable stuff look at this it was a lovely delivery in there by Tammy Abraham and it, as you can see one of my players actually duck by the looks of it. But the header finds the corner. And there we go. I don't believe it. But it happens. The banana skins strike again. AFC Wimbledon 3. <laughs> AFC Wimbledon 3. Arsenal 1. <laughs> Back to the championship now. As always, not playing every game in every video. We are going to give uh, them a chance against Reading and Pinnock. Pinnock gets a, a goal for us, but it is all tied up on the 89th minute by McNulty for Reading there. So we get a point. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But into a game now against Huddersfield. Can we rework some of the magic? Huddersfield relegated into the championship in this season. So uh, it's a level playing field now for us. Tammy Abraham whipping it in. Back post. It was an awful connection. A really awful connection there. That was. That looked like it was meant to be blasted. And I think it's Wordsworth again popping up it is indeed the connection was awful it, I think you tried to really go for it with the laces but I he must have mistimed it because it kind of just bounced off his foot look at this was it hitting to the ground it was hitting to the ground but I mean, <laughs> it wasn't the most beautiful of finishes but it all counts folks I will take that any day of the week 1-0 at half time AFC Wimbledon ahead Thanks to Anthony Wordsworth. So Tammy Abraham now looking up, seeing that run from Casey Ado. He's going to have one in the box. Will he use him? Whipping it across. Back post. And it is Pinnock who gets the second. 55 minutes gone. Celebrating like he's won the World Cup. He doesn't tend to get a lock, Pinnock. He really doesn't. So uh, it's always quite an occasion when he does score. Good stuff there. Look at this. The pace down the inside. Cutting in there. He sees Pinnock across at the back post. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And top bins. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Thank you so much for coming back. Checking out this video and this series. Um, by this point. My, uh, my daughter should be here. My, uh, the daughter that we were expecting to be delivered, to be born any day now, will shortly be here on the horizon if she isn't here already. So please forgive me for my, uh, my absence. I'm trying to get enough content ready to drop for you just in case. Uh, I'm not able to, uh, to to get any done for you. So uh, Pablo Escobar, he's not happy. He wants to go inside. And someone wants Howison as well. We are in the transfer window at the moment. One more game to sim for today, folks. And then we are going to leave it away in Birmingham against Aston Villa. Can we pull up a huge upset? It doesn't look like it. Hurahan has put them ahead on 23 minutes. Then Yedanak gives them another goal there. Ah, we lose 4-1. 
Wow, that's embarrassing. Maybe we won't sim anymore for now. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming back and uh, checking out the channel and the series. Someone said it's a nice, nice break to see uh, AFC Wimbledon winning because they're certainly not doing it in real life. I know it's depressing. It really is. And the, the whole Neil Ardley thing with him going now and the loss to Doncaster, it's not looking good, folks. It really isn't. So sit back, enjoy this. We've got AS Monaco in the Europa League coming up next video.